Oh my god, look. The game knows me. It's self-aware. Alright. Welcome everybody to Dallas Segno. This is just a quick look. Thank you to the fine folks at Mega Gamer for providing me a free copy of the game. Good people over there. Developers by Circus. This game got pretty good reviews on Steam. It's $39.99 if you want to buy it. There might be a demo on Manga Gamer's uh, website. They have demos sometimes of games that they have, but it is adult oriented. So be careful if you're browsing the website. So let's just start. Let's see what let's, see, let's get into it, shall we? I look up to a blue sky, the same blue as the ocean at my feet. It was a timeless saying that the ocean is the sky's mirror, but here the stark reality lent Chris credence to that saying. I looked up to a blue sky, the sun's rays emitting a gentle warmth. Everything basked in its light and attained a magnificent splendor. All was illuminated, wishing the world was so. I looked up to a blue sky, gently, carelessly. A single white shard burned bright as it drifted down, something out of place and a supposed eternal paradise. I reached my hand out. It looked to me like the sun had shed a teardrop, so I reached my hand out. I couldn't stand to see the sun cry. That's why I what? Oh. Takamaratsuya. Sounds good to me. Alright. Association. Second year. Kazan Academy Class 3. This is my address. Reason for embarkation to enter Kazan Academy. Alright. Sure sounds good. Should I make my character something else? Nah. That's fine. Can't think of anything good right now anyway. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Whoa. So bright. Light is sailing me from all directions. The burning day, the burning reflection. Just shielding my eyes with one hand couldn't block it out, but... But, beneath the blue canopy, I couldn't help but look at my brightly lit surroundings. Not at all like it back home. Just barely taking a peek, I could sense the sun's ferocity. Staring into the sun was dangerous, even with sunglasses. But... I really couldn't believe it was winter. A sky and ocean like this could only exist in the middle of summer. Tokyo sunshine always had a tinge of loneliness to it. And even in the summer it was dull. Well, <clears throat> technically this was still within Tokyo's jurisdiction. The mainland was well beyond the horizon though. I could be anywhere really. Kazana Island. There was originally a marine research facility or something here, so I had to hear, I had heard the name a bunch of times. But after it became a designated zone for research and education, its reputation spread like wildfire. It had even gained notoriety as a place to live or vacation. I'm sure it had support from the government, but its growth, centered around the academy, was unprecedented. And also... The dorms are super cheap to complement my full scholarship, and the amenities here left nothing to be desired. This was gonna be paradise for me. Right. I couldn't let myself get complacent. The shining blue sky would spur me on every morning. The sky was void of clouds, and I knew the night sky would be epic too. I see. The island where no one is ever unhappy. I knew it was just a tourist slogan or something people stuck in the city like to fantasize about. But in that moment, you know, I kind of believed it. This blue sky might make it possible. Oh. Hello. Huh? What is this, dance music? Are we going to a rave? Why is that music so loud? Hang on. Hey. 
There we go. Uh, no, I just... Well, this is my first time here, so I was enjoying the scenery. It's so beautiful. That's the actual name, Paradise. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you. She was brimming with energy. It was a bit overwhelming, to be honest. Or maybe it was fate. Sorry, but you are... Your name is, uh, some, some weird Japanese name. Let's, let's take something weird here. Um, Itsuki. That was completely off the mark. She's a computer. That's not weird at all. She's like a robot. AI, Amy. Of course, a girl type. I never would have known if she hadn't said anything. This girl was an AI? Like a robot? Oh, thanks. Hmm. Did I give you my name? Right, I thought so. Well, how did you know then? Big brother, huh? Or should I say big sister? Spying on me. Probably cameras everywhere. Yeah, I am. I space that one down to take my meds. Uh, somehow things weren't clicking with me. She been following me since I left the airport? She said since reception, so from outside the airport. Well, well, whatever. There was no way she was a baddie. <laughs> and even if she was, I could probably take her in a fight. Probably. Unless she has like superhuman strength or something. I was more curious about her being an AI. Well, at least that's what she called herself. Oh yeah, just hold on. AI, huh? That's what she said, at least going by appearances. Called herself, so I suppose it's good manners to believe her. One would cordially address other people, so of course AI girls were no exception, right? I figured I'd make some of my other concerns known. She likely knew because she lived here. Can I ask you something? Around you. Well, all around me too. It's floating everywhere. What is this shiny stuff again? It was technically winter, but there was no way it could be snow, not in this weather. I had to double check because it was similar, but something about it looked warm and cozy. Why are you laughing? Okay. I mean, so much of it around, it's not like it could be harmful to humans, right? I mean, why would it be? Whoa, it's cold. Really? That's interesting. They're like teardrops. I mean, regular snow, right? But it doesn't melt? The word teardrops popped in my head for just for just a second. I became fixated on the stuff. It was identical to actual snow. I'm a little suspicious about this these snow sprites or whatever. Yeah, 
Well, that probably wasn't the actual name for it anyway. I figured I'd leave it at that. I didn't want to push the topic anymore. All right, I have one more thing I want to ask. Can you tell me where the academy dorms are? No, that's okay. Sure, go ahead. You're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Whether I say no or not. <laughs> a little over, a little under a mile. Okay. With no vegetation to slow you down. 18 minutes. All right. All right, then. She sure was specific. I mean, no, that was what I asked after all. I mean, she is a computer. What else would I get, right? Thanks, I appreciate it. My cousin had explained to me roughly how to get to the campus from the airport. But this was uncharted territory for me. So having a guide would be easier and I appreciated her enthusiasm. It's not like I was wary or anything. But falling behind, you know, I felt safer. So she's a humming AI, huh? Provided she was telling the truth. That is. This really was a beautiful place. I watched this anime movie the other day called Hal. It was really good about a, um, a guy who dies in an airplane. And uh, this woman is like lonely and stuff. She, there's like a robot who like pretends to be him and tries to cheer her up and stuff and get her to remember the good times. It was a really good movie. Any path? Along the ocean was a sight to behold, but this island scenery was leaps and bounds above anything I'd ever seen. The perfectly reflected sky and the sea, expanding out for eternity. Hey, lighthouse! Ah, uh, my mom loved lighthouses. Oh. A lighthouse that doesn't ever need to shine its beacon. What's the point then? It's not a lighthouse, it's just a, a large pole shaped house. I mean, I guess. Alright. Spices up the view, but it's not a lighthouse, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Oh. Okay. So it still does its thing sometimes. All right, that's fair. Oh, really? Hmm. The way she was leading me and giving me the island's explanation was seamless. Almost as if she was acting out a program. She was false. The possibility of her being an AI still in my mind, it didn't change the fact that she was doing an excellent job. Then I thought. So, I was just thinking. Aren't you busy with other things? I could probably find the dorms on my own, you know? I mean, you're one AI amongst how many people here? I mean, surely you have better things to do with your time. What? That's toward the ocean. Whoa, hang on. I jumped off the road and reached out to where she fell. If I can just... What? I swear I caught her, but her hand. Ah! Fell in the water. Don't we already know her name? Why is it question marks? Do I have amnesia? Oh god, I hope I don't have amnesia. How are you? Uh, I thought I heard a girl's voice. Like 
she was in trouble. Like she was panicked. But I didn't know who it could be. Wait, maybe I had heard that voice. First, I need to open my eyes. Oh! No, oh, look, it's another girl. My vision, blinded by white, finally started to make out a blue sky. Huh? What? How'd I get like this? I think I'm dying. Oh, you're, uh, not the badger type. The, uh, the other one. That's it. That's the one. Oh, yeah, I knew that. So how did we... I kind of felt like I was covered in something, but more than that, my body and mind just felt sluggish and heavy. No, not sluggish. More like pain. It hurts. My clothes felt weird, like they were stuck to me more than usual. Great, we have a smart ass. Huh? Who's this? I sure didn't know any girls this cute. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe, I guess. My body just, I don't know, it feels heavy, kind of painful. Although I had no idea where or what I hit. Oh, anyways, I had some sensation that resembled pain. Yeah, I'm not ill or anything, but I don't... I, mean, I do feel thirsty, I guess. Why? Uh... Her face was so close to mine. Maybe that's why my forehead felt hot. I wondered what she was so worried about. It was nice knowing that she was genuinely concerned for me, at least. I guess I should be more concerned. Why I was out cold? I don't know. I saw this really nice seashell, and I just had to have it. Dive. Me. I was drowning? Training? Oh, I was trying to find out if I was a witch or a duck, but, you know, I think that was inconclusive. I mean, how should I know? I just... What did she mean with the... Why? This girl, though, her smile was dazzling. I had no idea what she was talking about, but I didn't care because she was dazzling. I was mesmerized by her cute smile, but her words rolled right through my ears. I was the one who needed to know why. Nah, whatever. Don't care. I need to get a grip on what was going on. Sorry, uh, so what happened? It might have been better to ask Amy. I had only just arrived, but I technically knew her better. I don't know. I've known this girl's name. Oh, so I fell in the water. No. No, oh, wait. Hold on a second. So you were fine, Amy? You, you fell in the water with me, right? Huh? You didn't fall? This was definitely the same little hand I tried to grab before I fell, but... Well, I'll just do what she says. What? I, I went right through? I could see it clearly before me, but I couldn't feel it. Like, it didn't really exist or something. Oh, 
この島の保守管理を行うためどこにでも瞬時に現れ消えることができます雨は実界のないホログラムなんです A hologram? You're kidding, right? A pretty smile when I was zoning out of the airport, a worried face when I came to, the, to on the beach. That very girl is just a hologram? Well, yeah. Of course I can't believe something like that. I mean, you're right in front of me. Well, she did technically say it. She explained that she was a girl type AI. Even if I had believed she was an android before, I still would have reached out to save her. She looked enough like a real girl that I would have no choice. No, no, I'm the one who had the wrong idea. Nothing for you to apologize for, Amy. Girl in a white hat. We already know her name. I guess. I still couldn't get my head around it at all. And her words were kind of confusing me too, but she was right. It wasn't an issue. I should just be thankful. Yeah, be thankful. She is ones and zeros. Nothing more. But then again, all of these games are nothing but ones and zeros, aren't they? So, technically, all of the girls are AIs. Whoa, it just blew your mind, didn't I? Well, that wrapped that up. No, no, it didn't. I was forgetting something. Damn amnesia. Uh, so, Miss Hamari, that's you? I guess you saved me. Why is that a question mark, Miss Hamari? Like, we don't know her name. Amy just told us her name a little while ago. Alright, so whatever. You save me. She was messing with me. And I actually tried hard to save Amy. Well, at any rate, you two saved my life, so thank you, really. It'd be hard enough to for a little girl to save a man, let alone someone on the verge of drowning. Ignoring the slight embarrassment at being saved by a girl. I felt like I needed to thank her properly. Uh, okay. Huh? This thing. Something was around my neck, a necklace or something. It's a cold fire pulver. When did I... It's some kind of track thing, right? It's some computer thing, right? Well, maybe I am, but what is it? Alright then. I guess I should have been thankful. If other people had them, I guess it was alright for me to have one too, right? I got, I'll hang on to it. I tucked the charm under my collar. Well then, I gingerly stood up to be sure I wasn't injured. The pain I felt when I came to had also dissipated. Thanks to the blazing sun, my clothes were pretty much dry. Seemed like I could walk all right. Well. Oh my god, look at that hat. That hat is crazy. 
Why do you have a number 12 on your hat? What the hell does that mean? Does that mean anything? Can I click on that? Does that do anything? No. No, but I appreciate the gesture. You helped me plenty already. I don't want to worry about them or anything, because I did my best to seem fine. I rubbed my hands together like I was red roll. <laughs> Amy Himari sure smiled a lot. No, I couldn't help but think about Himari's body. She was so elegant and petite. How did she pull me out of the water like that? Oh, nothing. Her long, beautiful hair and big, lively eyes. Even at a glance, she was a delicate flower. I mean, her hat was a little weird. <laughs> but other than that, she was a cute... Huh? What the hell? Numbers! When did they add numbers to the letters? Damn algebra. No way. I must have been dizzy from when I was drowning or something. Relax. I need to relax. Don't panic. Don't lose your cool. Just put your hand on your chest. Take a deep breath. <sighs> what in the? I wasn't seeing things. There were numbers right there. So I see them clear as day. I could see it clearly. Twelve. Was it a horoscope? Horoscope. <laughs> Regardless of what it meant. It was there. It's freaking me out, man. Maybe I hit my head harder than I thought. Now, Amy. I can only see a number above Hamari. If it was above Amy, it might have made some sense. I mean, she's a computer. This is a person, right? Her remaining hologram projection time or something like that would have convinced me. But no, there was only a number over Hamari. Could Hamari also be a hologram? No way. Was she? Uh. No way that was it. She would have gotten wet saving me if she was. She was still a little wet after pulling me out of the water. I was positive she was human. Shut up. I'm looking at your number here, okay? Sorry I stare, but... Huh? Oh my god, dark chocolate. Man, I tried some of that really, really dark chocolate. Oh my god, the bitterest shit you could ever imagine. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm fine. I just remembered something important I have to do is no, no, don't say that. No, I want to know what the number means. That's a terrible excuse. But I guess it was true. I had something to do find out what the hell that number meant. Yeah, I'll just try not to look at her. Man, I must have really bashed my head or something. I need to just get to the dorms and chill out for the rest of the day. I'll be sure to thank you properly soon. Later. No, don't you go anywhere. Don't you leave this area. Don't look. Just don't look. That number was messing with my head. I need to hurry. That's Kazana Campus over there, right? I'll just head that way. No problem. Maybe I was imagining it, but I also seemed a little uneasy. I was getting more anxious by the minute. I wouldn't last long if I kept overthinking like this, but I decided I would dwell on it later. I need to get to the dorms. Whew, this place is weird. That's people. People. All right. Almost there. The building I saw in my student guidebook before me was coming into view. I didn't have to walk for much longer, and everything was proceeding normally. Yes, proceeding normally. But one thing was abnormal. It's not a brain. The people I passed left and right all had numbers on their heads. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. Oh, man. Everyone's got numbers on their heads. What the hell does that mean? Regular civilians and students alike, they all had no number floating above their heads. Is this like some kind of census, like to show they live on the island or something? Perhaps this was the beginning of heat stroke. Or maybe I had just been loopy since I got onto the island. At any rate, I wasn't my normal self. 
Well, isn't it not hot here because of the snow particle things? Yeah. That was probably just uneasy with all these strangers around. You know, maybe I should find a familiar face. Maybe it wasn't me who was weird, but some kind of system they had here on the island. I need to find out for sure. I'm in the number two dorms, right? It was number two because there were a bunch of buildings, but the actual building name was Blooming Rose. The map had been right so far, so I figured I'd hurry over. That's pretty nice. Here we are. Smaller than I thought. Maybe because I'm a transfer student. Also, Noeri was supposed to come meet me. I hadn't seen one yet, though. She resided in the number one dorm, so I guess she wasn't here yet? <sighs> It'd be nice to have even a goofy cousin like her by my side at such a pressing time. Well, I had no choice. I didn't want to see my, like, some weird loner just standing here. What the hell is that? Okay, now I was nervous again. I pressed it again. Oh, it's a doorbell. The sign was putting me a bit on edge, like I answered a question wrong or something. Just hurry up and come out. Oh my god, that was loud. I've just arrived today. I am Aitsuya Takamura. Yes, that's me. Okay. So she was inside. She said she would meet me outside. Something like that. Some stuff happened. You too? Holy shit. Everyone's got numbers on their heads. What the numbers? What do they mean? Her loose and lively hair matched her carefree summer outfit. This was definitely the same Noeri Fujishiro that I knew. But on her head was... Why do you have a two? Are you all blind? You're not my sister, you're my cousin. Okay, alright. Huh? Oh, the number went down. Oh. The number decreased? It definitely just decreased by one. Is that a death counter? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Huh? Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. I was just a little confused. Sorry, Noeri. Y'all got numbers on your heads and you're saying I'm the weird one? Yeah, we just haven't seen each other since summer. Huh? About half a year ago. Glad to see you're doing well. I hope. I'm not trying to act normal. I'm just happy to finally meet up. <laughs> well, at least she was kind of smiling through her puffed out cheeks. Ah, the number went up. Whew, thank God. The number grew. What the hell could this be? Oh. Oh yeah, sorry to jump right in, but I need to ask you something. The way people on the island have numbers above their heads. Is that just a natural thing here or what? She was staring at me like I had two heads. I mean, I knew it was a weird question, all things considered. Alright, let me phrase it differently. Since your arrival, did you acquire some skill that lets you project a number over your head? Her face and her voice said it all. She had the foggiest idea what I was getting at. Uh. Well, this confirmed it. It wasn't the island that was off. It was me. I don't know. Yeah, you, you know. 
just above her increasingly concerned face. The number went down again. I was staring at me quizzically, so I tried my best to act natural. Is that, is that a real-time affection meter? Boy, that'd be useful in real life, right? Somebody just tell me what the hell's going on! Oh my god. What the hell? And right before my eyes, poof, there she is. She's like a genie. No, I stuttered the same name I nearly did, which meant that she also knew Amy. I guess this wasn't weird. Everyone probably knew her, right? Then again, her being a hologram was the weirdest part. I figured that out the hard way. Yeah, I guess I can't go on denying it. You just appear out of thin air. Shut up! It's embarrassing. Wait, wait, Amy, well, it's a sleeping dog's eye, okay? I really wasn't looking forward to being ridiculed by Noeri over that, but it was too late. We don't need to bother Noeri with all that, right? You're my cousin. He's my cousin. My cousin. No, you're my cousin. Cousin. If it's anything other than cousin. No. Whatever, I don't care anymore. Doesn't matter. I have something more important to talk about. Sorry, sorry, just chill out. Jeez, I'm going in circles here. Okay, Amy, tell me what I'm what's going on. What am I experiencing? What's these numbers? Pointing above my own head with a stern look. No I didn't seem to have any clues, so I thought it was best to be a little vague. She really was a sharp AI. She knew exactly what I meant. No, not before that. Wait, what? It's a secret. What? Why the heck are you her guardian? What? Only me. I'm gonna find out what these damn number means, man. I need to know. Curiosity. So? Why do I have to make it up to you? Okay. Bitch. She was glaring pretty hard. What was she expecting to me? What was she expecting me to make up to her? Well, I was just glad nowhere left. Now I could hear what Amy had to say uninterrupted. All right, let's get to it. I'm not so sure you can be trusted with my personal info. After almost blabbing about me falling into the ocean. You're a robot. You're an AI. You're a computer. You shouldn't be clumsy. Clumsy should not be a thing that should be able to happen. <sighs> yeah, don't worry. I don't really care. I'm more concerned about this right here. I pointed above my head again. So you're saying that you fully comprehend what's happening to me. <sighs> Alright, about 45 minutes in. But make it quick, okay? But it'll make me feel even a little better. I don't care how long it takes. Amy had been so cute and lively, but her face became serious. The sweat on my palms wasn't from the heat. Oh, I knew it. Happiness level. 
Happiness level? You mean something that indicates whether they're happy or not? Well, that one girl was really sad. She must suffer from depression, the poor thing. Huh. I guess that could be convenient, but also kind of a hassle. I don't know. It was so sudden, it was hard to even consider the perks of that. At least it was better than having no idea what the numbers were at all, right? So, you know the reason why the numbers are visible, then. You seem pretty sure of yourself. Am I an AI, too? You know, the handsome strapping man type? Huh. So that means I have a number on my head like everyone else. So why can't I see a number on yours? God, it's probably like max anyway. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You're a computer. No matter how many times she demonstrated she was an AI hair pants, still made it hard to believe. Alright. Uh, Alright, I promise not to talk about it. Sucker. That depends on what it is, is what I wanted to say. But I felt like I had to go along with it. I mean, since I was somehow able to see the numbers, it was probably in my best interest to hear her out, right? Okay. Happy? That sounds like a pretty vague goal. It's like heaven, right? Paradise system. システムの基本コンセプトは誰も不幸にならないことでして。そのため、島の方々の幸福度を数値化し、観測する機能が開発されました。人の幸福度を示すハッピールスという方なんですが、その甘風教授という方なんですね。人の脳波から出るハッピー
but the non-steam version does have adult scenes so <laughs> you can bet what the go-to um, activity will be for raising happiness is okay so you're the manager of paradise that's good it's all still so vague it seemed to be something that could backfire just as easily but in that moment speaking her mind Amani seemed more self-assured than I had seen her yet and there it was a wonderful idea and the system itself also seemed great but if I was going to be a part of it it wouldn't be so pure and simple so you're saying that the number on our heads is the standard you can judge our happiness by and you being the manager of our happiness don't have a number yourself and normal people can't see them And through some weird anomaly, I cannot see the numbers too. Seeing your beaming face is great and all, but it doesn't help me understand why. Damn it. Thinking things kind of fell apart there. She didn't need a number to tell me she was upset. Well, I guess I'm up to speed now. But now on to something more important. Will this fix itself? She didn't seem intent on finishing that sentence. So this is something you never expected and you don't know how to fix it. <laughs> how do I know that though? How do I know I'm not cursed for the rest of my life to see people's happiness? Oh great. Well, at least I understood she was at a complete loss. Knowing that shred of information was the thing I understood most in all. This I mean, it just made me sadder. Ugh. Oh no. I'm the one who's sorry. It's not like I could hold back a side of time like this. Well, you know. I feel like I tidied up some of my confusion, so I feel a bit better. But this isn't something I want to deal with much longer, so I just hope we can find a solution soon. Alrighty then. On the island, huh? So much weird stuff has happened on the first day. I mean, this was an island where cherry blossoms bloomed year-round. It was easy to imagine the strange things happened all over the world. It's just I was actually seeing it. People on the street all had numbers on their heads. Time would tell if this would bring happiness or misfortune. A paradise where no one was ever unhappy. <sighs> I don't just arrived, but I do myself in panicking like this. It's Monday. Well, it's actually Saturday. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, phone's ringing. Well, unfortunately, we're never going to answer because that's going to be the end of the quick look. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to try Dalsenko for yourself, it's thirty nine ninety nine. if you want to buy it. There might be a demo on Manga Gamer's uh, website. They have demos sometimes of games that they have, but it is adult-oriented. So be careful if you're browsing the website. 